sorry, dear. I'd love to chat, but uh, I have to go. Oh, you can give chase. You feel like coming along, I see. Goodness, my darling friend. Uh, surely a pretty face like yourself shouldn't be forced to chase this petty criminal through these dirty streets. Oh, you might dirty your visage. Oh, trying to trim me up so I get caught. Oh, whatever happened to honor among thieves? Hmm? <laughs> oh, still angry about me messing up your heist that one time. Oh, you got out of that mess I caused just fine, didn't you? Hey! Yeah. Surely you know better than to throw things at me that can be cut. I'm quite handy with this dagger, you know. Maybe it would have been better if you had stayed out of this because now the guards think you win on this. What? Wow. You really just tackled me through a window, huh? <clears throat> oh, come on, old friend. We better fly before the guards get here. <laughs> Phew. I think we're safe now. Oh, well now, I suppose your plan to get me caught by the guards didn't work, eh, old friend? Ow! 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 Okay, that... that was just unfair. Oh. <laughs> Feel better after that, huh? I certainly don't. Well, if you need to vent your frustrations, I don't mind being your punching bag. Who knows? I might even start to like it. Uh, I, 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 was, I was just joking. Please wipe that scary look off your face. Uh, you look much better when you smile. Oh, well, uh, disdain is a fine expression on you as well. I know you could have escaped from any prison these incompetent fools could have put you into, but you can't deny that it would have been most inconvenient. We both have our wanted posters up all over the kingdom, you know? Well, I do. Your wanted posters doesn't even have an illustration attached. Frankly, the fact that no one but me has managed to get a good look at you is... Hmm. It's quite an honor. If there's any thief worthy of the nickname The Ghost, it's most certainly you. But, um, hmm, the fact that you've allowed me to look at what's under the trademark hood and mask of yours must mean that you think highly of me. <laughs> or perhaps you like me? Ah. <laughs> Not falling for another punch, but look, we're essentially holding hands now. Hmm? If you wanted to hold hands with me, you could have just asked. All right. All right. <sighs> what did I steal this time that had the entire city's guard after me? Well... Something that puts all your previous heights to shame. <laughs> oh, my dear ghost, I don't lie. Not to my fellow thieves. Since we've run into each other, shall we visit the thieves retreat together? I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> of course. 
ever since you made off with the precious wines of the Duke of Atlas, your taste for the old alcohol of the Fees Retreat must have waned. You'll never accept a drink from me. I seem to recall us having many nights drinking together while swapping stories. I quite miss your company on those cold, lonely nights. You make my time in this world just a little bit brighter, you know? Oh, I was under the impression that you liked my flirting. I may not be able to see much beneath that mask and hood, but I can hear the embarrassment in your lovely voice. <laughs> Makes me want to tease you more. Hmm, fine. Then I suppose you don't want to hear about what I stole from my clients? Shockingly enough, this wasn't something I stole for the glory of it. I just stole it for someone who was willing to pay a <laughs> pretty penny for it. So, you coming or not? <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist me. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. Save your violence and what's left of my brain for when we spar. <sighs> After traveling through the city sewers so often, um, this stench becomes a lot more tolerable, doesn't it? Hmm, you're right. Uh, the rats are still a problem. Yeah, go. But, um, we're thieves. <laughs> you and I, we know how to deal with, um, a few rats. Literally. And metaphorically. Hmm, I cherish that memory dearly. Seeing you tear that traitor to the thieves retreat apart was exhilarating. Dear, I don't mean it in that way. I'm just saying that I so rarely get to see you truly. Hmm. Let loose. It reminds me that you're dangerous. And hmm, you know how much I like danger. Hey, being a part of the Feast of Treat gives me all the thrill I need and more. Make a few shinies here and there, take an under-the-table commission from now and then. I get to take my pick from all the adventures handed to me. It's a privilege for someone like me. Speaking of commissions... The thing I stole. I know I said I'd tell you over a drink, but well... You don't seem eager to accept the drink from me, and no matter how eager I am to hear about your escapades, <sighs> I suppose I've been stonewalled by the ghosts themselves. What a shame. Hmm, willing to accept something else in exchange for your stories, eh? Now, what might that be? So you'll tell me once we get there. <laughs> Are you a cheeky one? If I know, and I like to think that no one else knows you better, you'll coax me into buying you a drink anyways. <clears throat> Black Cat. Well now, here we are. I'm not due to deliver this for um, a few more hours or so. Hmm, this area is quiet enough. Uh, but first, hey, um, barkeep, uh, two glasses of your finest, eh? Uh, you just got back from quite the highest, and I'd love to unwind. Oh, save it. You were going to convince me effortlessly. So, might as well just buy you a pint now. Hmm. 
<laughs> Even if you didn't, you're simply too lovely to force you to go without a drink. Consider it... a favour. Mm, if that makes you feel better. Now then. Take a peek. Ah, <laughs> that look of wonder and shock on your face. Oh, priceless. The Ring of the Draconic Prince and the Ring of the Blazing Phoenix are not something one should speak of uh, so freely, even in a place like this. <clears throat> so, if you're wondering what I stole, these little things almost cost me my arm. Oh, it's quite the thrilling tale indeed. Ah, uh, thank you, Izzy. I tell Marge that I'll pay my tab today, and um, she can smack me over the head with that rolling pit of hers if I don't. Oh, of course I'm paying off my tab today. My commissioner paid quite a hefty sum for these, you know. Now then. <sighs> oh, that's the good stuff. Oh, come on now, my darling ghost, even if your taste for alcohol has been sullied by all that fine wine you've been drinking, it would be rude to not accept it after I've so generously paid for it. Ah, uh, I knew you'd come around. So, um, what did you want for one of your stories? <laughs> An intriguing idea. A story for a story. Now that there is a proposal that fits you. A story for a story. Now that's there is a proposal that fits you. I think that's quite a fine idea. <laughs> Let's shake on it. And now I've got your hand. Well, a handshake isn't enough. You know me a little too well. You know I crave the stories just as much as I crave excitement. And you, in particular, my dear, have the best stories. So, a kiss to your hand, a piece of my heart, so that you choose a truly incredible story to tell me. Hmm. If I could see under that hood and mask of yours right now, I'd say that you were blushing. Ah, oh, too. You are. <sighs> the more you deny it, the more I'm convinced that you have the most adorable expression under there. But anyways, a deal is a deal. Tell me a story, my darling ghost. Make it a truly amazing one, and I'll tell you an amazing story in return, just like old times. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching, with a special thanks to my patrons who you can see on screen and in the description, with a special thanks to Darkfire238, Phoenix Games, Swiftney Jinx, Silverin, Piparu, Sakura Mochizuki, Vox Calamity, Jessica, Mikaya Roll, Francois Canal, Tiger Mori, Mint Aurora, Shira, Lady Knight, Lindsay Star, Iris Towers, Verosica Mayday, Pocky, Chihimi Nanami, Christmas Artist, and Core the Owl Lady.